It's Friday. I think I'm live. And I hope that y'all join me. I see myself, but I don't see you. Where are you? Anyone? Marco. <gasps> Rowdy's mom. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Do you guys like pomegranates? I love pomegranates. Girl cat. Hey. Hi. How are ya? Hey y'all. I hope that your day has been amazing and beautiful. Girl cat just scared Bowie off the couch. That's like a good visual of how my day's been. Hey JJ, hey TG, Riley's mom, Roxy, Gianna. <sighs> so glad you're here. I just got this box in. It says happy Thanksgiving, but you can, I can still read it. I figured it would have been mirrored. Eh, I don't know. I got a box of pumpkins, and since I had such a good time making G-O-D things, I thought that we would do another one today, if y'all are down for it. You can veto my, um, my nomination if you want to. What do you think? Go forth or do something else? I'm digging it. I'm digging it with the pumpkins. I have one ready. Hey Shane, think about it, I'm going to get you um, into the logo and we'll be right back after this word from me, it's, it. it's me. Pumpkin. Word. Meow. I have plugged in my handy dandy this. It is a low temp heat gun just in case we need it. It's sitting down here on the side in my tea tiny little bees. Come down here on my level, won't you? That's better. That's better. Um, I love pomegranates. Do you guys like pomegranate seeds? These are not the best condition. Whole Foods, I'm looking at you. But I'm still picking out the good ones. Am I the only one that likes pomegranates? I can't be the only one that likes pomegranates. Jeff thinks it's weird that I swallow, like, the inner seed part. I guess I won't eat it anymore on camera. My bad, my bad. Okay, let's put my hair up. Before we get started, if you're new, I'm Erica. Jeff is uh, cutting plastic for things for our shop. And I have been putting chameleon powders in little bags all day. I think I'm gonna do a BOGO on chameleon paints today, like through the weekend. What do you guys think? Are y'all down for the chameleons? I'm glad I'm not the weird one here, but it would be okay if I was, because I'm used to that. Um, something. Can I help you boys? Go lay down. Shoo, shoo. Both of them. Both of them. Oh, yeah. I am Erica. Jeff is cutting plastic things. Whoop. I know. Relax, Bowie. Um, we're artists till death. We do art on the channel every day. 98% of it's live. And 95% of it's probably resin. But there are days where we do other things because we do a lot of different kinds of art. Today is not a resin-y thing. It's a geode thing. 
Um, I'm gonna try this on a smaller pumpkin first because that's the only big one that came in this box. It got it off Amazon. If you're interested, I'll link it below. So I think I'm gonna do a test on like this little teeny tiny moose size one. They're squishy, but they're smooth. So I don't know what kind of foam this is. Made in China. To avoid danger of suffocation, keep plastic bag away from babies. I don't see a plastic bag. Check. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds. Okay, the bag is not a toy. I don't even have a, whatever. Can I get some ingredients? No? Sold as a set, don't separate, made in China. Well, all right. Um, I don't know what kind. Hey Carrie, how you doing? I don't know what kind of foam this is, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna try to cut into, I'm gonna try to cut into it with my handy dandy this. It's a foam cutter. It's by Calcor, not sponsored, but if you're watching, what's up? Um, feel free to go ahead and like, share, subscribe, tell your, tell your family to get involved. I'm scared this is just gonna melt to my this. Yellow, let's go for it. Oh, we need to draw out our shape first. What am I thinking? Nobody knows, that's the answer to that. We're gonna use a Posca pen to draw this out. Also not sponsored. Also, if you're watching, so. Um, I have my something, I have my actual pumpkin carving tools somewhere just in case this doesn't work. Don't breathe fumes, made in China, just saying. That's fair. Thanks, TG. That looks like a geode hole. Hmm. That looks like a geode hole. Can you call it a geode hole? What do you call them? Geode holes. Word. Okay, let's do a. <gasps> okay, it went in. See our little insertion test dot right here? Sorry, it's not focusing, but there it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume this is gonna work, y'all. I'm scared. I'm scared. Then focus. Arguably, this is the most boring part about this process. Oh my goodness. So the tip works better than the side. Nope, not true. We're not gonna breathe that. That was an order. Thanks, you guys, from ordering from my shop. You know what? This may take too long that way. I think we're going to go... Um, I'm going to use that for refining it. And we're going to go old school with a heated up... <gasps> my bad. <laughs> we're going to do a heated up exacto blade. Now I need some fire. It's too tiny fire, but that'll work. Um, kids, if you're watching at home, get a parent to help you do this. Don't do this on your own. So I'm just heating up this blade of an X-Acto knife. See how it's turning red? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Or orange. That means it's hot enough to cut foamy things, like a pumpkin. <gasps> so much easier. <laughs> but it doesn't last very long. Do they make blades that are hot? It sounds very dangerous, but do they make those? Like, um, like we use, we use a hot tool for our What's up, TZ? Hi, Gail. For our, like, when we stamp our cradle boards. But. 
Do they make those like but with blades? It sounds super dangerous. I don't think they should make that, but if they already make it, what's it called? It's a need one for my bees. Because having to put, I know, first world, having to put the, having to stop every four seconds, not a good time. Like, I need an attachment for my foam cutter that is basically just a blade. <gasps> So it's a really smooth foam on the inside. It's very different from the last one that we did. Hot knife. Well, that is a great name for the thing I was talking about. I need a hot knife. I'm going to get on Google later. Nope. Probably going to get on Amazon later. So now I'm just cutting out like jagged points so that we can make it look as geody as possible without having to put a whole bunch of chunky glass in it. I'm just cutting at all kinds of weird angles. to clear some of these innards out. Hey, Bodo? Did I say that right? You can let me know if I didn't. You just saw a hot blade on Amazon? I guess I should have ordered one before doing this, but YOLO. I'm just like cross hatch cutting up in here. This is actually working really well. Now that we have that the face of it off. Face of it? It's not it doesn't sound right. You know how the inside of geodes are real jagged and angular and very stalactite, stalagmite, both, they're both, they're both of those things. That's what I'm kind of just trying to do. Oh, I'm smiling. It looks kind of like that. Okay. I'm about to show my eight. What's up, bug? What's that big plant? That like Venus flytrap. It's like, feed me, Seymour. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But that's what it looks like to me. Little shop of horrors. That's what this looks like to me. All right, so I'm good with the inside right now. So actually I'm gonna cut the, the outside a little bit more to cut the Posca pen off. Y'all knew what I was saying, y'all knew. All right, Cujo, relax. Uh, if you don't know, I have a, I have a little old man Pomeranian with a heart condition and a trachea condition that makes him cough. It has nothing to do with things that I use in the live feed. But thank you for all those concerned. All right, the inside foam is softer than the outside foam. 
so it cuts better. I think I'm gonna, let's paint this one orange. Let's paint this one orange after because I don't wanna deal with waiting for paint to dry. It's 80. It feels pretty nice here today. But I don't know what the actual temperature is. It's going to knock over a water, water bottle. Okay. So I'm just going to use some spray adhesive. And glitter glass on this on this guy. The spray adhesive is Scotch Super 77. Some spray things eat some foam things, and I don't know how this one's gonna do with this, but we're gonna find out together. He's gonna be so cute. I'm worried about that outside though, but we'll worry about that. spray off before it gets sticky. Fail, it's already sticky. Oh well. I could probably use alcohol to wipe it off, but it's fine. No, it's not. I'm gonna wipe it off. You haven't had power for 11 days, Tammy? I don't know how to like I don't know how to operate without power. No one would be getting orders. Phone would be dead. I would be out of Sudoku puzzles. Jeff and I would have had to arm wrestle for like the last bag of Cheetos. not be a good look. How, how have you been making it through there, Tammy? That sounds... Ugh. Sounds like my cat is getting into something it shouldn't, but I don't see it. Okay. right. Silly boy cat. Okay. I'm just going to fill this up with this glitter glass. And just roll it around till it sticks everywhere that has sticky on it. Um, this glass is super beautiful. And elegant but it will cut you if you're not careful respect the glitter glass focus looks so god we just have to make the outside match what should we do you guys how should we do the outside should we do Gold leaf. Not gonna focus. I don't have to. Yes. Should we do orange paint? Should I just put gold leaf around the outside, like around this opening, and make it a, a white and gold? Geo. What do you think?
Everywhere gold leaf or just around the opening gold leaf? I need more direction, y'all. After we get this one done, we're gonna do this big one that came in the parcel. Or should we save this for Jeff? What else is in this box? He didn't get to do a pumpkin yet. We'll do this medium sized one and let Jeff do the big one. Because we love him. What is that? I guess I can just take the outside of that off. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. I need all the fun things. Thanks. What about silver? Silver would be fun. <laughs> I'm out of Winter Wonderland glitter. I should have it around this week, though. Opening, opening. Megan, what's up? I'm making another pumpkin. Have I not seen that many um, of your drawings lately? Or have you been doing them or have I just, I probably just missed them. I'm not, I haven't been on Facebook a lot lately. Too much drama and I've been silly busy with the shop. Trying to find some gross paintbrushes so I don't ruin some of Jeff's nice paintbrushes. Which basically always happens. Oh, found them. Alright, we're gonna use the variegated gold leaf because it's my favorite. No, we should use the orangey color variegated gold leaf. That'll look way better. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Megan. I didn't, I guess I didn't know that he passed. I'm sorry. I know the hurt of losing your dad. If you didn't see the first pumpkin I did, this is what he looks like. I've decided this is the boy pumpkin. I think he's rather cool. Okay, back to the task at hand because I get distracted. All right, glue. I'm using this sizing adhesive. Thanks, Bug. <laughs> really appreciate that, and I think you are amazing. Um, y'all just make my day. Megan, I'm super sorry. So this is adhesive sizing from Speedball. I always call it the lady on the bottle. Bottle. Because I always forget the name of it. It's just the bottle with the lady in my world. All right, so I'm going to put just a little bit of this sizing adhesive over... Just the opening area. And if you have never seen this sizing adhesive used, it's unique in that it's white until it's ready for you to use. And then it goes clear. It's unfortunately I'm working on a white surface, so I'm not going to be able to see what's what either way, but nah. we'll know. I feel like I should put gold on the 
stem as well. So I'm just gonna brush a little bit of sizing on there. Don't neglect the tip. Just remind out of the gutters, ladies, it's not ATD after dark. I guess it is. It always is a little bit, isn't it? Megan, thank you. <laughs> Y'all are too sweet. Okay, boys. Kujo just came over here. Really appreciate you, Megan. That donation was to power up Bug. Okay. Well, I appreciate both any and all of y'all. Okay. We need to let that dry a little bit. Oops. Grab that. So while that's setting, we're just gonna draw out our line for this big manajama. I'm just going to use orange. That's so sweet of you to say, bug. All right. Let's do more of an open. Should we do a, like an O shaped one or like more of like a long one? What do you guys think? Should it be like this? Is that Benny? Or like a thin? But that would be awesome. But I think this is too round and it would look too like Saturn-y. I think that would be good for like a longer one. Okay. Well, y'all think about that while we add this variegated gold leaf to the small pumpkin. This variegated gold leaf is different from the one I used a couple days ago because it's got like orange hue in it and I think you got it Megan. That's not a bad idea Sean. lost the hole. But we'll find it. It's got to feel around sometimes. Y'all hear Bowie playing in the background? I'm gonna move this camera just in case he decides to run out. Y'all can see him. He'll come through right here. No, girl cat. Y'all, every time I use gold leaf, the cats are like, hmm, what's, what's that? Sorry. 
Um, I used um, a sizing liquid, Megan, from Speedball. It'd be cool if it just naturally stuck to it, but it did not. Right, that's a sticky one. I'm just tapping this gold leaf around. It needs to dry a little bit more. So we're going to let this dry a little bit more. We're going to start on the other guy. I say that as I'm still working on this one. It's going to look awesome, but I'm going to set him over here for a minute. Okay. Put the gold leaf away so that these kitties don't get all involved with it. By the way, no, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, addicted. I don't know what the deal is. They have problems. Ergo, I have problems. Spray paint at purple with two openings. I'm down for two openings. You gotta check our shape out before we pick the color. Alright. like that. And it sounds like Bowie's getting into something he shouldn't be. Imagine that. Alright. Let's warm up our this. I'm going to have to get some of those like sticky mat things. Keep the cats off of everything. My cats don't watch art until I have gold leaf out. It's the strangest thing. If Jeff is drawing with a Posca pen and they can hear that like scratchy sound, they'll get up and try to watch. And if we bring out gold leaf, they somehow know and we'll get up here and watch. But other than that, they are absolutely not interested. I just wanted to see if it would cut without heating it up, and it does. It's just easier. Okay. Girl cat, please don't get into that white paint. It does look like a lot of cutting, but have faith. TZ, the kitties are doing super well and they're super precious most of the time. There's moments where I'm like, what, did it, what have I done? But I'm pretty sure that most every pet parent has that moment where they're like, this is a horrible idea. I think it would be different if we didn't have like no doors. Like there's no way for me to keep the cats out of where we art. So when we have resin things laying around we have like fear, the solid fear that we're going to get up in the morning and just see a cat stuck, just, you know, in a resin piece. 
not because I care about the piece, it's because I would hate to have to get resin out of cat fur. However, I don't want to jinx it, but we've been doing good so far. Haven't had any issues where we had to get cats in a tub because they got resin in their coat. And I know they would try to lick it off of their paws and I just don't even want to try to deal with that. But it's a non-issue thus far, so that's good. Okay, I think I'm going to just cut down through this so that it's easier to take that front piece off. always more easy if you section it in my opinion shading that is quite an undertaking we can make it Dig in, I guess. All right. So the inside of this one looks more like the first one that we did. And then it has this like weird foam outer. It's like rubbery. It's like a rubber paper. I don't. It's like if there was such thing as fondant or foam. Well, I guess some bakers use fondant on their, I mean, foam in their cakes. But you know what I mean. Hey, Sonia and Laredo. I'm Erica's sister. Your dog sitter. Oh, hey! We love Erica. Alright, so I'm over here in the trash can clearing out bits of this foam. I don't want the pups to get into it. So Bowie's playing with the cat. Thank you, AA. I am making a geo pumpkin that looks like this. And this is the start of it. This is how it this is how we begin. Hi, Cujo. So I'm just like running my thumb across these little foam beads. Hope I'm not ritter hopping this camera angle. By the way, that is a term of endearment because we love Anne Marie Ritterhoff. And she has an amazing habit of getting her face into her camera angle. And she's amazing. She does acrylic for art. So I'm just creating this crevice. Thank you, AA. Um, so I'm just trying to create this crevice. Crevice? Can you say crevice? I don't know what else I would call it. And then after we get this hollowed out a little bit, we'll make angular cuts in it and make it look more like a geode. Nancy, um, what about alcohol ink? 
The particles of Milky Way may be a little bit big for alcohol inks. You could probably mix it in, but it would sit probably a little bit on the surface and would rub off eventually. So make sure if you try to use it, that you seal it in um, with like an archival spray. These little, do y'all remember Dippin' Dots? Aw, thanks, B. Um, do y'all remember Dippin' Dots? That's what this reminds me of. Or have you ever accidentally busted open a beanbag chair? This is what's in there. That is what's in there. Yeah, that's from Jeff. He's a sweetie. Okay, that's good. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to break out the little vacuum. You may have to. Depending on how staticky we get. That felt weird. I just lost $3 for sending her that. You did, but also, can you put a price on public displays of affection? I think not. Also, I'm pretty sure I tipped you once, so we're even on wasting money. Y'all, I busted open a foam beanbag chair um, in high school one time, and then our dog got into it. Her name was Bama. She was a Rottweiler. She was precious. We had her for like 16 years. Anyways. She decided to jump in there and create the biggest mess. Hi, sir. What are you doing, baby miss? Go lay down. Good boy. Anyways, I got grounded because my dog got into uh, bean bag beans. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this little guy. Okay. Okay, wait. <gasps> I thought I just burnt myself. We're good. Don't do what I just did and light a torch into your direction. Alright. That was relatively easy. That looks fun. Should we leave it like this or break it up some? Hold on, I'll get it to focus. Okay. It just looks kind of pleated. It doesn't look very geody. I mean, I can break it up, but I think I thought it looked fun. Y'all, I see you, vamp. In the shadows, troll hunting. Okay, so this is what our inside of our geo pumpkin looks like right now. It's just hollowed out and kind of rounded, but it needs to be more jagged. Always trying to get Pugsley to play. Also, this is what I see when you guys are chatting with me. And I can see the stream. Anyways, back to the art. Promise I can focus. Okay. Always in the shadows where I'm happy. Well, I hope you're having a great Zampy New Year's. Okay. Should we cut this all angularly, or should I put fire glass in it? What do you guys think? While you're telling me, I'm gonna dust off the gold from this guy. Nope. Where's Jeff's makeup brush thing?
I may make the whole thing gold leaf. But it doesn't look bad. pumpkin. Bye TZ. Have an awesome, awesome day. No, you didn't, Vance. I hope it's not too bad. Okay, did you guys say... If I should just cut this or if I should drop fire glass in it. So I'm just cutting shapes. I believe in you, Vamp. Into my foam here. Fire glass, got it. You got it. That guy is looking good. Just all jaggedy. So if we're gonna do fire glass in here, then I don't have to make it look jagged. So that's a good thing. But I do wanna just try to clear out a little bit more of these foam pieces. Ugh. Don't breathe the smoke if you're gonna try this at home. Do you have colored glass? I have some on order, but I don't have any here right now. But I'll get some so that I can do different colored geodes for you guys. I'm just clearing out a little bit more of this foam so that the fire glass has somewhere to go. Have you guys tried this method yet? Have you tried this, um, making something into geodes? Did a cat just run back there? What's the device in your hand? Carla, that is a something. This is a foam cutter. Its whole purpose in life is to cut foam. This whole area is hot, it's plugged in, has a little on off switch. And this is from Calcor, it's a 14 watt foam cutter. I think it was like less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Okay, we got this a little bit cleared out. I just turned it off and it's already cool. That's crazy. My husband built a foam cutter. That's awesome. But like a big industrial one. They also make them where you can um, like it's a wire. It's like a wishbone with a wire that goes through it or across it and you can cut that way. They're also on Amazon and they're not very expensive and I wish I'd gotten one, but hindsight, etc. He's pretty handy. Handy is awesome. 
I am not very handy. I'm artistic and business minded, but if I need to like change the oil in my car, that is a third party hire out situation. If there's a leak in something in my house, we're gonna have to call somebody. I guess Jeff can just handy at some things, but for the most part, he and I are more artistic than handy. But then again, Jeff is really good at like building his own like art things. So I guess it depends on what the subject matter is on our handiness level as a couple, I suppose. Right, Vamp? Vamp's super handy. You'll be moved here before long. Just keep grinding over there, lady. All right, I think it looks good enough to add our fire glass. So, I'm not using my super duper ninja wireless hot glue gun because it melted thick plastic. So I'm using this, <laughs> my very first hot glue gun. It is a tea tiny something from somebody, but it's a glue gun that's low temp, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 10 watts. It's made in Taiwan. That's all the info I have. And there's our fire glass. More bling the better, I say. I concur. So since this isn't going to really melt our this, I'm just going to kind of Put it in there. But I suppose I need to move kind of fast because if it's not that hot, then it's not going to stay liquid for that long. Don't rush me, hot glue. pretty nice. All right. Let's basically just douse this sucker with hot glue. Only thing about these little hot glue guns is they run out of glue so quickly. Need another. Hey, Angela. Um, you could use crazy glue, probably. I would do a small test first because you never know what's going to melt foam and different things melt different kinds of foam. So I would do a spot test first. hot glue faster than the hot glue can get hot and then you have to just pause your life what's happening to me in this moment in this moment get some other colored um, glass together so that we can do like an amethyst geode which I think would be gorgeous beautiful stunning because who doesn't like purple no one everyone makes everyone loves purple I can't not love purple I'm pretty sure <laughs> 
Don't let me forget to pick that up, otherwise Bowie's gonna grab that piece of glass and just have a heyday. Almost done with the boring part. I was just about to ask you guys if we should add glitter and then I realized there's always room for glitter. I didn't just realize I've always known that, but you know what I mean? Just coming together. I don't understand why there's yellow right there, but I just have to add extra glitter into that area. You could also use UV resin to do this, but I don't have enough. However, comma, I have some on order from just resin. I hear that if you freeze your glue sticks before you use them, that those strings don't happen. But I always forget to freeze my glue sticks. So I've never tested that theory. But I got the theory from you guys, so I'm sure it works. I just haven't gotten to test it myself. Manuel, I would love to make some pumpkin pie. Unfortunately, I no pastry chef, unfortunately. Also, I don't have any pie crust. I'm the worst southern girlfriend. I feel like all southerners know how to cook slash bake. Not I. Okay. Just about done. I need to cover this up because it's like when my pumpkin has a yellow tooth. That's not cute. Where are you? Nope. Okay, Cujo, lay down. So it looks super geody now. Okay, Cujo, lay down. Moo's getting a little too hyped. All right, shading of the heart, I'll rub it in. Hey Lisa, glad you made it. So my cats, Pugsley in particular, likes to go up to the windows and like, and it makes nails on a chalkboard sound. And it scares me the first time he does it every time. Okay, let's, oh, I forgot about, forgot about our side hole. Oh, that sounded so gross, but you know what I mean. Should I bother with this? That's not gonna look fun. Just, boop. let's just do only glitter glass in that hole. You know what I mean? Sue, how are you? This is where we are so far. You know, I bet I could just drop my something. I bet I could just drop tints from Color Obsession into this. Did you pick up the glass that fell? No. Thank you for that. There it is. Got him. Okay, so after we do this one, if we have time, I'll do one more, like a small one, just to see if I could drop tinted 
um, something. Like inks just directly into this and if it would tint it. Because I don't see why that wouldn't work. Airbrush with tints. Shane, I don't even know. Yeah, these aren't even on. I'm scared. I don't want to break one of those. Okay, so this looks fun. We need to spray it with some spray adhesive. Drop some glass into it. Cujo, calm down. We're not ready to go yet. I see you. You're precious. And you. Go lay down. I'm out of Halo, so I'm using the next best thing, which is... Createology fine glitter. Can you tint the glass first? I'm sure you could, but it would need time to dry, and I, as well as all of you guys, are probably not patient enough for that because it would take probably 30 minutes for. I guess you probably use alcohol inks. Maybe we'll use alcohol inks and try it. Okay, I'm using spray adhesive on my this. So it's on the inside. All right, while that's setting up a bit, I'm going to wipe off everything that hit it on the outside with some alcohol. Because we don't need sticky on the outside of our holes. I need to think before I speak, I feel like. That should be like a 2020 resolution. Okay, so you can see our, I don't know if you can see, but I hope you can see, no, I can't see, there it is. Our glass looks kind of frosted now because of the spray adhesive we put on it. And it's almost tacky enough to, that's not what he said, Sean. So it's almost tacky enough to add our glitter glass and some glitter. I would wear this. I would wear this. No one likes a sticky hole. Anyways, so let's do our this first, and then we'll add the glitter. And then as this one's setting, we'll do a small one. And see if the um, something what am I thinking? Uh, dropping tints in it works. how glitter glass makes things look looks like a no bowl shirt jersey just all up in the pumpkin let's drop some glitter in there because glitter is always an option
Do we want to drop glitter in there? It almost makes it just look dirty. But the problem is I can't get it off of this part. No turning back. We can pull this tooth out. Okay. How are we going to do this? my glitter anymore. I always say glitter is always an option. May not be the case here. trying to cut the hot glue that is keeping this piece of glass in here. Extraction. going to cut that glitter foam out. This is kind of like when I do resin pieces and something goes not according to plan or I have a bad idea. Just take stock of what's going on and where you want it to be and take appropriate steps to get there. Something just not in here. Something Jeff had problems with in the beginning. He would just freak out. And freaking out solves nothing. But he has since learned. Freaking out does nothing. We got enough of it out to not really be able to notice. Thought you would notice. I can do some work with a makeup brush when I have time, now that I had time. It's just whenever I wash my hair, I feel like I sit down to put moisturizer on, and I'm, I'm sorry fellas, this is not dude talk. And then before I know it, I've got a full face. This is a half full face. Okay. Where's my this? Boom. No more cavity. Take care of that. 
Holly, I'm sorry about that. How much diamond dust do you get with each order? Does anyone know? Miss Brown, I sell in 10 grams, 20 grams, half pound, and full pound quantities. Damn, you are just on a roll tonight. Okay, while I figure out what we're going to do with the outside of that, let me grab a tent that we can do our test. Just racking up the trolls today. Hey, Sticky Art. Thank you for being here. I know, trolls are just on it, doggone it. All right, let's get another baby pumpkin so we can try this out. Actually, before we do that, let's just. Drop some tint on this foam and see if it does anything we should be worried about. Uh, it's eating the foam. Try some alcohol ink since color obsessions. That doesn't look like purple. Sits on its own and lies. I know. Trolls are just doing the most today. That looks amethysty. Okay. Amethysty. Cavity came after the cap, the cap tooth, basically. I know, Vamp. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm glad you're here. Okay. Let's put this show on the road and do. It's a word. It's a word. Okay. I'm not alone then. Y'all, it is still eating through this. That is an impressive amount of chew through. Right? I'm definitely glad we're going to test these. Well, I am very thankful for that penny wiggle. Hey, Megan. It's like a fun game of whack-a-mole. It's whack-a-troll. 
Now I have to get shirts made. All right, we're just cutting through this one relatively quickly so we can test our color geode stone. I wish trolls would tell me like how they found this feed. Like what of all the feeds, why would you, why this one? <laughs> yes. I mean, there's gotta be better ones out there to like bother. Then again, I'm glad that if they're going to attack somebody, it's someone like me that doesn't get upset. And I have amazing mods to address it. I would hate for them to like go after a channel that has someone that's maybe a little bit more sensitive to things like this. Jelly beans. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Pam Malone. I'm going to go play games. Bye. See ya. Have a good day. do you do have to have a thick skin on YouTube but also I wish that people that don't have a thick skin would feel more comfortable about being on YouTube and wouldn't have to like worry about the trolls and agreed swamper okay miss lay down I just wish that people feel comfortable putting themselves out there without the worry of someone judging them or being mean. That's a wish that will never come true. And so if there are going to be trolls out there, I'd rather them come after me instead of someone that's more sensitive to it. Because, just what I said before, I have amazing mods that handle it. And even if I didn't, I'm, I'm just not phased by negativity or haters or whatever they want to be called, you know? All right. We're going to add the glass and then we're going to add the something, the alcohol ink and see if it works. I feel like it will work. And the reason why I'm putting um, the glass in first is because I want it to soak into the glass. And the reason why I'm doing it in the pumpkin instead of like tinting the glass on the side before I put it in the pumpkin is because I want it also to tint the foam that's behind it. And if this looks awesome, then I'm going to bring out the gold alcohol ink and use it because I think that would look awesome. And I know my liquid gold will melt foam, you know? That's true, Deborah. It doesn't mean that I have to put up with crap either, but I'd rather it be me than someone that can't stomach it, you know? Right. 
right. This stuff is so flippin' pretty. I just wish it wasn't so, like, dangerous. I would wear it, like, as makeup. I swear I would. He says sometimes it's hard to discern how someone is intending something to be interpreted when it's written. And so you getting put in time out one time, my sincerest apologies. Sometimes it's hard to see what people mean when they say something. And we know that you wouldn't say anything intentionally hurtful, you know, but some people are that way and so you're fine. We're not ever mad at you. It's just sometimes it's hard to read other people. And it's better safe than sorry. You don't want to let people get away with things and then become a troll slowly. Not that you were doing that, say in general. Bye shading, I hope you feel better. drop this purple alcohol ink into our pumpkin. And if we have to, I'll just spray it again with the uh, something. Spray adhesive. And put more fire glass in it. No, not fire glass. What's it called? Glitter glass. But see where the glitter glass is laying on the foam flat? It's creating like a different shade. This looks like it worked pretty well. Should we add more glass? And should I add um, the gold alcohol inks? What do you guys think? Yeah, Deborah, I completely engulf things with glitter glass when I use it because I want them to lay funky so that you can get all the unique facets. If you put too thin of a layer, they'll fall flat. That looks amethysty already, but amethysty? I don't know about that one. It's a word. Okay. I feel like if I put an up close shot of this somewhere and ask people what it was, they'd be like, Amethyst Geode. That's what I would assume. So what do you guys think? Use the gold alcohol ink? I guess we could do a side test. Go grab it. My addiction to geodes is 
delaying my orders being sent out on time. More glare glass? I think so too. look good enough to use or leave it out because it's kind of separating which still looks fun let me know what you think so what does it look like on the other side Thank you, Lisa. Gold glitter, leave it out. Gold glitter, looks neat. I think it looks pretty fun on the outside of it. <laughs> I wonder if I can wipe that off. Where's my, this. I bet I could do an alcohol ink piece on the outside of this stuff because it lays so flat and it's super smooth and it like it soaks in but not really. Okay, let's add some more this. I think I'm going to make the outside of it like this. And I'll probably try to alcohol ink one of my other ones. Mm -hmm. So we sprayed more spray adhesive in there. You can see it's got like, it's not as shiny anymore. It looks like rock candy instead of amethyst. I'm trying to think if I had any pretty purple glitter for this, but I don't. Hmm. Now it's sparkly again. I think that 
afraid, he says, like, well, I guess this glass is going to be forever purple. Alright, let's do the outside of this in gold alcohol inks. Every time you have you use a gold anything, shake it before each use because it will separate and look gross. Have an awesome day, Sue. Thanks for coming in. Okay. to rub that in, I guess. to do one side at a time. <gasps> no, I dropped some of the got some gold in it, but it doesn't look that bad. Drop some gold in it. That can happen. But you know what I always say geodes aren't perfect. And there's a beauty about imperfections. I think with people and with artwork. There's too much of a, an obsession with perfection, I think. People need to put more stock in the uniqueness of imperfection. Maybe that's me. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. done with this bad boy. Thanks you guys. I would have probably been too scared to try to color the glass if it weren't for y'all. So cute. Okay. Let's dry the bottom of this guy. And what are we doing? I 
Agreed, Deborah. Thank you, Swamper. I appreciate the tweets. I need to do better about my Twitter or ATD's Twitter. Ugh. Thought I was about to make a mess. Precious. All right. I'm going to um, marinate on what color to do the big white geo that we have. I think I want to make it like white, like an aqua or turquoise and gold. Like keep the outside pure white and have like gold. Now I'm thinking gold alcohol ink like in the center, kind of like the black one does. Black one is. Maybe like a blue topaz color. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm open to suggestions. What do you guys think I should do with the big white one? Fingers are sticking. Thank you, Vamp. Blue and silver be pretty also. I concur. This is what it looks like now. And I think she's lovely. I just want to be sure before we like make any moves. These are our other two cute little minis. Our amethyst with the beautiful natural flaw. And our little white and gold beauty, which I'll probably finish doing all of the outside in gold leaf, variegated gold leaf. I'm gonna have to get one of those hot knives that you guys are talking about. I think, I think it would be helpful so I don't have to stop and heat up an exacto blade. Mm. Let's separate that fire glass later. That sounds awesome, Shane. Silver outside, blue inside. So like the Dallas Cowboy one. Are you alcohol inking it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Swamper. Hey, Sharon. Love the red, by the way. Thank you. Thought I'd mess something up for a minute, but it, it, it's not me. It wasn't me. I did not put red on Jeff's Lazy Karen. That's before my time. No, it wasn't. It was during Jeff's time. But I thought some of the pumpkins would be this size. It was not. But now I know instead of using gold leaf on the inside, I could have used gold alcohol ink. <laughs> I think their dad's home. That's usually what that means. Sounds like it. Blue and gold to um, compliment, yes. Call it Winter Wonderland. I sure don't. Red and black would look good too. Look out, mister. 
Turquoise and purple are always what? phase of mine. Are you guys still live? Yeah, they wanted to say hi to you, so I said, well, wait no. till you get home. Look, I made it this. It's amethysty. I tried to use um, something. I tried to use the color obsession tints. Are you really still live? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like. Ate it. Wow, that's beautiful. Thanks. And I have to tell you, for just full disclosure, someone said I was the prettiest um, <gasps> resin person on YouTube and gave me like twenty dollars. So. Seventeen dollars. Oh, you, you, they told you too? Yeah. Me too. So anyways, thank you guys for showing up and seeing what I'm up to today. I hope you learned something. I hope you give these G.O.D. pumpkins a try. Hold on, Kujo wants to say hi. I know. Just breathe. Get down. You okay? Yeah. You have crazy man hair coming out of your ears. You have old man hair coming out of your ears. Can be crazy big. man he hair. Does. He does. He has little. Look. Look at all this. I know. It looks cute. It makes him look like a little <gasps> fox. You have crazy old man hair coming out of your ears. <gasps> you just wake up from a nap. You grumpy old man. You have big kiss. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Release the hounds! Exactly. Um, so yeah, I gotta go take these nuggets out before he gets mad at me and pees on my feet. Um, if you... Well, I'm jealous, Lisa. If you, um, are new, please subscribe. If you're not new, you better be subscribed. Because Vamp will know and she'll come after you. And I need to get a hot knife. Hot wrap. Because I used your X-Acto blade and fire and it worked. But also yeah. only for seconds. And so um, follow us on, nope. Follow us on all these places because we want to see you guys more. And if we go live early, such as today, we post in our group, doink, 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 ATDs for people so to let you guys it, know it, when it, we go it, live early. Uh, what do you call it? What? Christmas ornaments. Oh, Jeff is making Christmas ornaments. Do you have one we could show? I just, I just, I made. Wait a minute. Just gonna show you guys something. That's what the timeout is currently. Well, don't take both sides of off. Christmas ornamentates. We uh, I cut them on the uh, on the acrylic. Put the little oh this one. Put the little hole there. Made this a little bigger just so if you're going to use yarn or thread or, I don't know, rope. If you want to make a cowboy one, I don't know. But we made these on our acrylic ones to where you peel. They both, it comes with paper on both sides. And all you do is peel this side off. Do your artwork on here. Put your resin on there. Let it dry overnight. And then once it's dry, the next day you can peel it off the back and there's no cleanup. No sanding, no nothing. Handy they are dandy. Amazing. Oh yeah. Christmas ornament. For your Christmas tree. For all your Christmas tree needs. These are not on the website yet. I'll try to get them up today. But I have a lot of text messages to get to. So probably won't be up till tomorrow unless Jeff wants to put them on the website. I love the roll tide pumpkin idea. 
You know, I'm always down for a Crimson Tide kin. You know what I mean. Tomorrow um, is Saturday. Are you here tomorrow or are you cutting tomorrow? Jeff will be here. I think we have a bye week, but let me... Someone tell me if we play tomorrow. It's not showing. It's not showing the games. It's only showing... Google it. Words are hard, it's true. Hey Ron, I'm glad you're here. I made Hi. I made this. But I still have to do the outside and we're I was thinking about making it gold. But I don't know. So let me look real quick. Okay, Cujo. Hi Cujo. Hi Cujo. One, two, three. There you go. 11, 14. Uh, yeah, so we have a bye week this week, so I don't know what time we'll go live, but I don't have to plan my life around a football game, which I usually do. But, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the. I want to see him stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. He's like, Mom! Where's she at? Maybe Miss. He's got fragile rock hair. I know, he's a little fragile. <laughs> that sounds amazing, Lisa. Adios, JJ. So, yeah, thank you guys for showing up and seeing what we're up to today. I hope you guys try it. If you do, tag us, hashtag ATDART. If you're interested in the fire glass or the glitter glass that we use, we have it on our website, artistsildeath.com. Join, join, join. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's hype. I got to take the boys out. They're getting way too hype. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, but we'll post it in our Facebook group, ATDs Poor People. Join, join, join. Are we going to go live early tomorrow? We don't know, but I will let you guys know in the Facebook group. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. Don't be a troll. There's apparently too many of them in the world right now. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! I said bye!